call this meeting of the Fremont County Board of Commissioners to order. You all please rise and join Tom Kilgore from the Connect Church for the invocation, followed by the pledge. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, this is a great Colorado morning and we thank you for it. It's also great that we meet on a different day, just to show the variety of this wonderful county and just to celebrate another great day on a Monday instead of Tuesday. Father, as we go about your business here in this county, I ask again, as always, for wisdom for the county commissioners as they seek to do the right thing for our county. I also ask that we, the citizens, as well as the leadership, always take into account those who are less fortunate than us so that we, the leadership, can help their lives be better. Father, thank you for the great work this commission does and for this awesome county. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Tom. Roll call, please. Commissioner McFall. Present. Commissioner Bell. Present. Commissioner Payne. Present. County Attorney Jackson. Present. County Manager Bryant. Present. Planning and Zoning Director Garrett. Present. Ooh, feedback there. <laughs> okay, approval of the agenda. Mr. Chair, we have one thing to add to our agenda this morning. So um, that one item is to, under staff and elected officials reports, add another item so we're going to move something around item b will now be treasurer's report and the county manager's report will move down to item c so with those changes i move to approve today's agenda second it's been moved and seconded to amend the agenda any further discussion roll call please commissioner bell aye commissioner Payne. aye commissioner mcfall aye motion carries next is the consent agenda for notice at this time we are not scheduling any public hearings Chair, make a motion that we uh, approve the consent agenda. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the consent agenda. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Payne. Aye. Commissioner Bell. Aye. Commissioner McFall. Aye. Motion carries. All right. Now we are to the administrative and informational. Um, first of all, we'll start with the uh, clerk's monthly report. Mr. Bantham. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, today, motor vehicle fees, sales tax, and recording fees collected for the month of August 2019 is $1,277,498.82. Fremont County's portion for disbursement is $704,046.43, which is a 55% of the total fees and is $51,968.46 less than August of 2018. Year to date, our office is up $178,112.57. Wow, a decrease. A decrease. <laughs> or, or from last year, I guess. <laughs> yes, from last year. But we still, um, as a county, are up quite a bit from last year. So once again, I wish the county could keep all of that money, but instead it gets divided up many, many different ways. So with that, Mr. Chair, I move to accept the county clerk's monthly report for August 2019. I'll second that. It has been moved and seconded to accept the clerk's report for August 2019. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Bell? Aye. Commissioner Payne? Aye. Commissioner McVall? Aye. Motion carries. All right. Thank you, Mr. Grantham. Um, then the new item that we added there is our treasurer's report. We have Ms. Kathy Elliott here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, for, so for the semi-annual report from January 1st of, and through June 30th of this year, we ended up with an ending balance overall of $18,714,506.79, which is approximately 1.1 million more than we were at this point last year. Um, only thing I can really show that that where that increase um, the sheriff's office balance is up about six hundred and thirty thousand, um, and then the pilt money is still sitting there. It hasn't we haven't been able to to utilize that as of June thirtieth. We had just received that pilt payment though, didn't we? Not too long ago. In June. Yeah. In June. Yeah. Yeah. Which for those that might not know, PILT money is payment in lieu of taxes, and that was um, 
It was 1.17 million, I think, this year, something like that, from the federal government. So, yes, we do like our acronyms. <laughs> that is that is where we get paid for the federal property that is in the county that we do not collect property tax from is what that's for. So it tremendously helps out our budget. Yeah. Okay, with that, Mr. Chair, I may make a motion that we accept the treasurer's report. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept the treasurer's report. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Payne. Aye. Commissioner Bell. Aye. Commissioner McFall. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you, Kathy. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we will move on to the county manager report. Ms. Sunny Bryant, good morning. Good morning. So just a couple of quick updates. On Thursday, August 29th, we had a safety committee meeting. So it was very well attended by various departments um, and we're working to improve the overall safety, looking at everything from workers' comp claims, um, property claims to building safety. And so it was a really good meeting and I'm pretty excited moving forward that we'll make some really good um, recommendations to make everything overall safer in the buildings. On Thursday, or I'm sorry, on Tuesday, September 3rd, um, the, we had an airport advisory board meeting. So there's a lot of really good things happening out at the airport. Um, and I believe maybe one of the commissioners will speak on this, but one of the things that we discussed is Saturday, September 21st, we're having our county air show. So it was good to get an update on that. On Thursday, September 5th, the commissioners and I attended a tour of the Hayden Pass project. So it's really good to get out there and see the end stages of that project. Um, and we're finalizing everything. I have the final reports that I'll have Commissioner McFall sign today, and we'll get those all submitted for final closeout and reimbursement. And then we are in the process of working on the build out of Pathfinder Park. So there's a couple more buildings that we're looking to build out there um, to actually be able to eventually move the county fair out. So we've had quite a few meetings regarding that and I'm working on some grants um, and we'll hopefully secure some fundings to be able to move forward with those projects. So that's all that I have. All right, thank you. All right, Any, anyone else? No, I'm good. Well, she, she was correct, Sunny. Um, I was planning on mentioning once again our air show, that sh air show that will happen a week from this coming Saturday on September 21st. It starts, I believe, with a breakfast at 7 a.m. We have a lot of fly-ins, a lot of folks out there, um, various vendors. Uh, there will be a lot of different types of food available out there and some um, air shows, some really cool things happening up in the air. So if there's any chance that you have an opportunity to come out, please do so. Also wanted to mention the night before happening at the airport is the big band bash that we've talked about a couple of times here in this meeting room. So that starts at five o'clock PM. They're going to have some impersonators, um, Frank Sinatra, different things happening out there. So again, I encourage you just come out. There are so many things that happen all the time here in Fremont County and uh, you can't ever be bored if you're interested and willing to get out and go do something. So lots of opportunities coming up. All right, thank you. Um, I just want to say, um, Sonny mentioned the project up at Coldell that we did through NRCS. Um, it was a long, kind of painstaking process, but I want to <laughs> thank Sonny and our, our engineer, Don Moore. They put a lot of time into this, um, working with NRCS and the landowners, and Sonny's still working with it, actually, for the final payouts and whatnot, but it, it really couldn't have happened as, as good as it did without you guys, so I want to thank you guys for that. Um, and on top of that, I just want to remind everybody that on September 14th, 9 o'clock to 11.30 at the Deer Mountain Fire Station, there is an electronics recycling event where you can take your TVs, computer monitors, that type of stuff and get them recycled for a lesser fee than if you tried to do it otherwise. And the second one again is um, September 28th, 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock at the Bank of the San Juans on 9th Street and Highway 50 here in Canyon City. So anybody has those old TVs and you get them recycled, that's a good good opportunities to do that okay is there anything else we'll move on to citizens who wish to address the commissioners on matters not on the agenda don't have any slips I don't see anybody rushing up so we will move on we have no old business we will move on to new business the first item on new business is uh, Resolution in recognition and appreciation for the vital emergency services provided by first responders in Fremont County, Colorado. Um, we have several agencies here this morning. I appreciate all of you folks coming out this morning and admire and respect everything that you guys do. 
And um, most of all, I want to thank you for what you do. We have the Sheriff's Department here. We have the Kansas City Fire Department here. We have, let's see, Search and Rescue. We have our Emergency Manager here. We have AMR here. Is that everybody? I think so, right? So I appreciate everybody here, but I also want to appreciate those that couldn't make our meeting this morning. <coughs> Is there anything you guys want to say? And then I'll read this resolution. I would really like to ask all of our first responders in the room to just come forward and line up so we can read this resolution to you and cameras can get you and I just would like everyone to know who you are and that you're here this morning. So if you would guide all please come forward. Front center. Yes. And, and <laughs> while you're doing that, I also would just like to <laughs> add a voice to say thank you all for everything that it is that you do every day because anyone who has ever had the, um, it's not really an opportunity, but a reason to pick up a telephone and call 911, we all know that they're not having their very best day at that moment in time. And so I just want to say thank you to every single one of you for the hard work that you do because citizens like us, we depend on you every single day. So thank you so very much. So I don't know if you guys can get a camera shot of that back there. Hopefully you can get most of these guys, if not all of them, in a camera shot. So those, so those that are watching can see see who's here. Do you have anything to say before I nope, attempt, go ahead. attempt to read this? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, you guys are doing a good job. So I'm going to read this resolution and in appreciation of all of you guys as well as the other first responders in the area. Whereas police, fire, medical, and other emergency services are a fundamental cornerstone of our civil society, and whereas first responders, professionals, and volunteers alike are the first line of defense for the public against threats that may put our communities and citizens at risk. And whereas first responders accept the challenge and responsibilities that go along with their chosen field, performing their duties without second thought or personal guard to serve and protect others in their time of need. And whereas first responders across Fremont County stand ready 24 hours a day to come to the aid of all citizens. And Whereas free first responders have committed themselves to a life of serving and helping others with professionalism and calm assurance in times of greatest need. And whereas first responders not only deal with emergencies, but also volunteer many hours of service to schools, governmental and community organizations. And whereas public safety communication officers are the first link to the citizens and the first responders can't get the channel to change. There we go. <laughs> and whereas the safety of both citizens and first responders is dependent upon the highly trained and skilled professional safety communication officers. And whereas all citizens should take some time to reflect on the job that is done by emergency service first responders, the emergency medical service providers, the police, and the firefighters that seldom take the award and accolades home with them but instead take the memories with them that members of the public rarely see because those men and women who dedicate their lives to help others. Now, therefore, it is hereby resolved by the Board of County Commissioners for the County of Fremont that we join with the citizens of Fremont County in saluting the work and efforts of the first responders who answer the calls for emergency services and express our heartfelt gratitude to their dedicating service. With that, Mr. Chair, I move to approve resolution number 25 in recognition and appreciation of the vital emergency services provided by first responders in Fremont County, Colorado. And I would proudly second that. It has been moved and seconded to accept resolution number, or approve resolution number 25 in recognition of first responders. Any further discussion? Again, thank all of you. Roll call, please. Commissioner Bell. Aye. Commissioner Payne. Aye. Commissioner McFall. Aye. Motion carries. I'm going to give you another one. Anybody want to say anything? If anybody would like to say anything, now is the chance. And we would appreciate it. Yeah, we should get a picture. Yeah. Carrie wants a picture. Okay, we're going to come around and we'll flip it around so Carrie can get a picture. Yes, I just want to jump.
Oh, we know how to clear a room. Yeah, right. All right, so <coughs> our next order of business, and I think we could discuss this a little, whatever you guys feel on this issue, if you want to continue this, or do you want to carry out the public hearing it then? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. I'm sorry. We still have new business. I'm sorry. To new business. Number two uh, is a First Amendment to a lease with the Department of Public Safety for hangar number four at the Fremont County Airport. We have Sonny Bryant's going to speak on this a little bit. Yes. So we have received a request from the state. Re um, they currently have a lease for a portion of the building in hangar four. They are requesting to lease the entire hangar. And so it will be effective January 1st, which will give the other tenants in that hangar um, a little bit of time to relocate. And so that lease is before you. Um, the amount that they are going to be paying for that is a monthly fee of $3,150. Um, and the term would end June 30th of 2024. All right, so my only concern was that was the, the other tenants that are in there, but I believe our airport manager, Wes, has spoken with those tenants. Yes. And they're aware of what the situation is? Correct. So, okay, I'm on the wrong one here. What? 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 <laughs> what? I, I would, would simply say, Mr. Chair, that... Um, Thank you, Sonny, for, for working on the lease. I know that uh, this is something that they've been looking at doing for some time. Um, I appreciate the fact that they're wanting to come to Fremont County and to have a greater presence here. I don't think there's much we could do that would be any better with anything out of the airport than to work on public safety. And so if our Department of Public Safety is wanting to come here and to lease the entire darn hangar, I'm in favor. More power to them. And yes. I think I don't... I don't know if you've said this, Sonny, or not. They'd be also be paying the utilities out of that building, so they'd be in Correct. full control of that. But I, I, I agree it's a, a great asset to have those close to Absolutely us because we know is. how the fire season is. Your yes. knock on wood this year it hasn't been very bad, but um, at any point it's getting dry right now, so at any point that could crop up. So with that, Mr. Chair, I do have a motion. Okay. I move to approve the first amendment to the lease with the Department of Public Safety for hangar number four at the Fremont County Airport um, as follows. The lease will begin January 1st of 2020. It will end June 30th of 2024. And the amount of lease payment shall be $3,150 per month. Second. Okay, it has been moved and seconded to approve the first amendment to the lease with the Department of Public Safety for hangar number four at the Fremont County Airport. Beginning January 1st, ending June 30th, 2024. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Bell. Aye. Commissioner Payne. Aye. Commissioner McFall. Aye. Motion carries. And I agree, Sonny, thanks for working with, with them on that. <coughs> now we're down, that was all of the new business. Now we're down to the public hearing scheduled at 10, which is um, amendments of the county zoning regulations. I'll ask the other commissioners, what are your wishes? Do you want to continue this to the next meeting? Because we do have another res, um, Cause zoning. Because we're adding one, right? We could and add we to this. And we can do it all at one time. Do it all at one time, or we could wait we 10 minutes and have this public hearing. On the continuation. We need to wait till 10. Okay, we need to wait till 10 before we do anything. To continue it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we will take a 10 minute recess and continue at 10 o'clock. <laughs> call this meeting back to order we have before us a public hearing for the amendments of the Fremont County zoning resolution um, I think we'll go ahead and do this okay let's let's, <laughs> right, do, let's it. do this let's all do right. it all right so um, first of all I'll ask for a uh, staff report Okay, so we have um, a couple different proposals here. The first one is changing the requirements regarding notification for temporary use permits. Testing, testing, testing. Oh, testing. Can you hear that? Now it is. That's now they're there. On. We go. All right, Sean. Can you hear me now? Okay, so the first change there is, is re there. regarding notifications for temporary use permits, and what we're uh, proposing to change is that the department will notify all the agencies and other departments in lieu of the applicant. So we'll notify the Sheriff's Office, um, Department of Transportation, Environmental Health, 
all of those. So the way it currently stands is that the applicant notifies all those, and then you turn around and notify them again, and it's cutting out the one step where there's not multiple notifications, it's just the one step. That's correct, so we don't get no double notifications to a lot of the departments, it just narrows it down to the one. And it's a little more streamlined. All okay. right, commissioners, any questions or concerns with that? No, sir. No. It seems like it's good common sense. Yep. So we have uh, three of these, correct? Are we going to do them one at a time? Yes, we'll do them one All at right. a time. All right, so I will entertain a motion. Oh, well, public, public hearing. Oh, I'm sorry, we do. I will open a public hearing. <laughs> Anybody wishing to speak on this? Um, Resolution, zoning resolution change, now is the chance. <coughs> Seeing none, I will close the public hearing. Hi, Mr. Chair, I make a motion that we approve the uh, changing the requirements regarding notifications for temporary use permits. Uh, eight dash, or date eight, yeah, eight at one one six under the zoning resolutions. I second that with the clarification. This is an amendment of the Fremont County Zoning Resolution. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it has been moved and seconded to approve an amendment for the Fremont County Zoning Reg Regulation ugh, Resolution. My goodness, for 8.16. <coughs> Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Payne. Aye. Commissioner Bell. Aye. Commissioner McFall. Aye. Motion carries. All right, the next item, number two, is changing the requirements for extension of contingency items, uh, Fremont County Zoning Resolution 8.6. Again, I'll ask for a staff report, John. Okay, so what we're proposing is to allow the department to grant one six-month uh, extension administratively rather than having it come to the board. Uh, with the contingency items, it's items that would have to be addressed before operation begins and before the permit is issued. And then these contingency items are something that were um, in place when we passed whatever the whatever they're doing. So they were contingencies. Sometimes we had one recently that they just weren't quite done with the contingencies yet. So it came to us for six months. That would allow you the ability to extend it one time six months. That's correct. So after that, it would come to us. After that, it would come to the board for approval. That makes that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Okay. No, no questions. No questions. I will open the public hearing for this item. If anybody wishes to speak, now would be the time. Seeing none, we'll close the public hearing and entertain a motion. Sure, Mr. Chair, I move to approve the amendment of the Fremont County Zoning Resolution um, to change requirements for the extensions of contingency item including one six month extension by administrative approval. And that is zoning resolution 8.6. Second. It has been moved and seconded to approve amendment to the Fremont County zoning resolution 8.6 uh, for extension of contingencies administratively. Any further discussion? Roll call. Commissioner Bell. Aye. Commissioner Payne. Aye. Commissioner McFall. Aye. Motion carries. On to item number three, which is changes to requirements regarding utility plan submittals. That's Fremont County Zoning Resolution 4.10. You know, there's a lot of numbers there. <laughs> <laughs> a plethora. A bunch of numbers there. Um, so I'll ask for a staff report, Sean, please. Okay, so there's quite a few numbers. That's a couple different zone districts and their placements within the uh, Fremont County Zoning Resolution. So currently we require that for utility plans that applicants submit a utility plan that is signed off um, by the utility companies noting their approval of the plan. The proposal is that we will have uh, documentation on letterhead and signature from the utility providers that service can be provided and if any upgrades will be necessary as deemed by, by the appropriate utility provider. Okay. Okay, so how's it done now? I'm, what's the so now currently they, d they draw up their plan and then they have signatures written on those plans for the utility providers. Okay. So now we'll just receive separate letters from the utility providers. So you're streamlining it along with these other ones. It's just kind of streamlining the whole process. Yes. Basically. 
Okay. And it's not changing the requirements, correct? No, it's not changing the requirements. So we'll still have documentation signed off by the TLD providers that they can provide it and if any upgrades are necessary. Okay. That's okay. a good point. I, was, I think all three of these, they're not changing, taking away anything. It's kind of streamlining the process, making it much easier for the applicants to, to get the applications done. Absolutely. All right. Any further questions at this time? I will open this public hearing. Anybody wishing to speak on these changes? Now is the time. Last chance. <laughs> Do you want to say something? <laughs> All right. Seeing none, close the public hearing and entertain a motion. Hi, Mr. Chair. Make a motion that we approve the uh, changes to requirements regarding utility plan submittals with all of the uh, Fremont County zoning reg res resolutions uh, undersigned here, which is a plethora. I'll second. It has been moved and seconded to approve the amendment to change the requirements regarding utility plan submittals from the Fremont County zoning resolution. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Payne. Aye. Commissioner Bell. Aye. Commissioner McFall. Aye. Motion carries. All right. With no further business before us, we are adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>